Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new arched window and door frames. So I've got a set of walls set here. We're going to go over to our windows and they're hiding here under door and window frames. So we'll click on that. We've got door frames, window frames, and wall openings. Now you've seen the door frames and the window frames before. That's that's nothing new. But when you open them, there's a little bit of new information. Here when you open them, you'll see we've got arch door frame, arch with casing, there we go, rectangular door frame, rectangular door frame with casing, and back to the arch. So let's go ahead and place one of these. Drop it out here. Place another one. See if we can't get them all out of here. There we've got them all. Cancel. Let's take a 3D and see what we have now. So here's our nice 3D. Here you can see we've got a nice frameless square opening, an arched opening with a frame, an arched opening without a frame, and a square opening with a frame. Now let's take a look at the attributes for this guy. Attributes. Alright, here's our attributes. So we can change our width, our height, our depth and our height. We can change the arch angle if we want a little more arch on that boy. That gives us more of an arch. or less of an arch if we want to go less. We can add casing or if you have it in the design and decide oh I don't want casing you can take the casing off. And then we have two profiles of the casing. We have a slab profile and an arch profile. And if you zoom in on 3D you can see that difference in the profiles. And we also have a variation here of wood species and these match the same images, same wood species that we have for windows. So you can come in here. I think rosewood is probably one of the most popular colors. You can come in here and just set that and that way they match all the way across. Now, let's take a look at a frameless one. And again, we can, add, we can change the height, the width, the arch. We can add the casing. And if we add casing, then we can add the profile. Hey, there's our little thing. It takes a second to pop up, it looks like. So now let's go delete these guys because there's one more we want to take a look at. And we'll just go click on my doors, door window frames, wall openings, freeform wall opening, edit on elevation as user shapes. So let's place this guy. Drop it out here. Let's get an elevation. Here's our elevation. And let's zoom in on that a little. Now here we can edit this. And from here we can stretch it. We can shorten it. We can extrude it if we want to. We can add a point. We can radius it. We can do all sorts of crazy things. How crazy do you want to get with your wall shape? Doesn't even have to go to the floor. So we can do all these crazy things with it. We've got corner menus as well. So we can round over a corner or we can notch a corner or we can bevel a corner. So pretty much all the things in there. Now to get out of this you can either hit escape on your keyboard or come up here and click on select mode. And there we are. And now we can take a 3D and see what kind of craziness we've done to our wall. There you go. 
Now we can get some creative wall shapes, wall cutouts anyways. And so this has been the arch door window frame Pro Kitchen 8.1 version video tutorial. Thank you for watching.